Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic, and I'm back with a quick video. Today I want to show you where the bleeding port is on a Hemi 5.7 liter V8, and we're going to go ahead and talk about how to get all the air out of the cooling system. So recently I had a few viewers contact me about the coolant bleed procedure on the Hemi. Um, I may not have gone into detail in previous videos about where the, the actual bleed port was, but that's what this video is. I'm going to show you where it is. And I've got a procedure that I use to get all the air out that works fairly well for me. Uh, you don't have to deal with a hot engine. You can do it cold, and you pretty much get all the air out. And also, you can check it over a few days just to make sure that the coolant level bottle is correct. So let's go ahead and check out the front of this timing cover. So right here, if we're looking at the front of this 5.7 liter, this whole entire assembly right here is the water pump. Got your pulley here. It comes with the thermostat housing lower portion, and it's got the bolt-on radiator hose upper portion for the thermostat. So it doesn't matter if it's coming out this side on the passenger side or if the radiator hose is coming out the driver's side. Somewhere usually on the front water pump cover or timing cover, you're going to find this bleed port right here. All it is is a recessed Allen. So what you need to do is gain access to it. Sometimes there might be a bracket in the way. Usually on the Chargers, Challengers, Magnums, 300s, nothing's really blocking it on the truck, so you may have something in the way. Nonetheless, that right there is actually a 516. Ratchet, go ahead and break it loose. Now, it's got thread sealing on there, so when you go back with it, it doesn't hurt to put some thread sealant. Go ahead and take that out, and we'll sit it off to the side somewhere where you won't lose it. Now that we've got that recessed Allen out, what I like to do is keep in mind we just did a repair, engine's cold, we've got the coolant bottle off to the side here, we've got the cap open. At this point I can start adding my 50-50 mix, half antifreeze, half distilled water. I'm going to keep filling it up till finally something comes out this port. Now this port is on the back side of the thermostat. Being that the thermostat's not open, that's usually where the air gets trapped until the coolant gets hot enough for the thermostat to open, then the air rushes back out, and then eventually you get the drop in your coolant bottle. So the port on all the bleeders will always be on the back side of the thermostat, so that way we don't have to wait for it to open. And we can do this as the engine is cold, it hasn't even been started yet. Keep filling the bottle up, once you get coolant coming out of here, remember you've put a little thread sealant on the recessed allen, go ahead and put it back in its threaded port snug it down by hand and then what you can do is you can adjust the level in the coolant bottle then you can go ahead and fire up the vehicle and make sure everything's okay no further leaks and then what I recommend is over the next couple days preferably in the morning if the engine's cold you go out there and you check the coolant bottle to see where the level is you may have to add slightly a little bit of coolant but for the most part you're not going to have to put any large amount so that's my method so now we know where the bleed port is, and now we know how to add coolant when the engine's cold until it comes out the port. Uh, thanks for this question. Uh, sometimes I forget things when I'm filming. Sometimes it might have got edited out by accidentally. If you see a point that I didn't really touch on, always feel free to ask me. And if it's something I think everybody else should know, I'll do a quick video just like this. So. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on YouTube. You can also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. If you got any comments or suggestions about this bleeding procedure on the 5.7 liter Hemi or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram, and soon once I get some more information, Fiat, always feel free to email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com and I will get back to you in a timely manner. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching these videos and don't forget to share them.